In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually add a call to action, CTA, onto your um, website. So I've done a video before about what CTAs are um, and why they're important. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually add them to, um, to what you're doing. So I'm going to show you, this is my website for Build It Brilliant. And this is what we call the, the calls to action. Um, and they do slightly different things. I'm also going to show you Aweber. And um, I keep showing you Aweber just because I use Aweber for my business. So there's actually information in my Aweber to use. I do have an account on MailChimp. Um, but I don't um, use MailChimp, so I can show you MailChimp, but um, there wasn't actually any people in my MailChimp to then show you um, how to do it. So you can do exactly the same thing with MailChimp. Um, the, the titles might be slightly different or where you do it might be slightly different, but you can certainly do exactly the same thing with MailChimp as you do with Aweber. So your first decision is, what is your, your call to action for? What is it that you want someone to do as a result of clicking on your call to actions? And there's a, a few, few options. The first one is to book. So you might want them to book in with you, uh, like your free you know, consultation-y type thing. You might want them to sign up to a regular email. So that's like my AMA where they sign up and then they get an email every week. So that's the same if you're doing like a newsletter or something like that. So you might want them to sign up to a regular email. You might want them to sign up to an event like an up and coming webinar that you have or you know, a particular workshop or something. Or you might want them to sign up to a freebie, like, um, or a low paid option, like an ebook or something like that. So the first thing you need to decide is what are you going to use as your call to action? And that depends on where it is that you're putting it. Are you putting it on your homepage of your website? Are you putting it on a blog? specifically um you know what where is it going and what is it that you want people to do so in this example on build it brilliant i've got two they do say don't overload calls to actions there should really be one but on my home page i have two because one is a bigger decision than the other one so to book a discovery call with me is actually a bigger choice than to join something that's a free um, ask me anything. So I have two at the top because then they can decide where they're at in their journey and how much kind of contact they want to have with me. Do they want to join the AMA or do they want to book a discovery call? So if they want to book a discovery call, this button here links straight to my Calendly account because I use online booking. So this is a very simple button with a link to my Calendly account. This one for the AMA, I have created a separate sign up page for that because there's more information. So this looks interesting, but I don't want to put all the information about the AMA onto my home page. So what they do is when they click on this one, I will show you, this goes to a separate page on my website, which is, is this page, which is then got a video about what the AMA is about. Uh, some details about what they can ask me, some quotations and stuff. And then here they would put in their name, their email address and ask to join. OK, so you can see there that the, the two buttons do different things depending on what it is that you want them to do. So uh, let me go into the back end of my uh, website. so that you can see how to actually add these on. I use WordPress, so you will see this as WordPress, but most website builders have the options for a drag and drop that will allow you to put buttons on and link things to them. So um, whether you're using Wix or Squarespace or any of or Weebly or any of those, you should be able to do the same thing. Um, but obviously this is WordPress because that's what I use. So uh, I'm going to go to pages so that you can see my home page and home page. 
I use a plugin called Elementor, which gives me the option of a drag and drop. Um, a few people use different ones. Um, I use Elementor, but some people I've seen use something called Divi. Um, does the same thing. It just gives you this um, option to drag and drop things, which is a lot simpler. So here, um, I can choose a button and I can literally just drag it over to my website. And then here is the details for how that button is going to look. So text, uh, book a discovery call. Uh, I want it in the middle. Um, I That's okay. The link here is what you would then use. So I have a Calendly account and in fact I could just see what the link is here. So this is the Calendly account and this is the link for my discovery call. So all I would do is just put that link in here. I'm using keyboard shortcuts for copy and paste. Um, so I've got that in there. I can choose whether it's a small button, it's a medium button, it's an extra large button, um, you know what kind of button it is. I can have an icon if I want. And up here is style, so this is where we have the background colour. And then here is where you need the, your hex number. And I have shown you before how to get your hex numbers uh, in a different video, so you can find out where to get those. You'd put your hex number in here, um, and then that would give you your colour. So that would give you this, this green colour. Okay, so you'd put that in there. And here we have got types of borders, so you know you can change the look of your of your particular button. Um, add some padding in here, which then makes it um, changes the shape of it. Um, so that's how I ended up with this round button um, like this, and then just change the colour. And there you go. That is your call to action for someone to book a call created. So I'm going to delete delete that move my head just because it's my website so that's that one this one is exactly the same I have clicked and dragged a button across done exactly the same in terms of typing the text finding my hex color changing it so it's a nice round button because I like that but the link goes to a page so here I've got build it brilliant forward slash AMA and that is the URL for the page that I have created for the AMA. You might be asking, where do you find that? So I will exit to dashboard. I'm not going to save. So on um, back to WordPress editor. Uh, sorry, not doing that. Back to my WordPress. So here is my online learning AMA. This is actually a page that I created from Aweber. So what I have done is I have created a sign up, a landing page on Aweber, which I'll show you. This is my Aweber account. On my landing pages just here, I have one for my AMA landing page. So I created this in Aweber. So as you can see, this is my page on my website. I created it on Aweber because I want people from my website to sign up for my AMA and my AMA is run by Aweber. So I want them to sign up to my Aweber um, list in order to get that AMA video. So in order to do that I created the landing page on Aweber so that then I can have this which um, signs them up to this particular this particular um, thing. And then what I have done is I have an integration they call it on my WordPress site. So as you can see I have Aweber just here um, and it's a plugin. So you go to plugins and you get the Aweber plugin. And then here you can see landing pages. So what it does is it pulls through your landing pages through to your system. Okay. So here, if I and your list, so these are all my lists on Aweber that it's pulled through from Aweber, 
with that with that plugin and then if I go to Build It Brilliant AMA here is my list and I have synced that to my website so now when you click on the AMA so it's Build It Brilliant can you see here this path so it would be my website's builditbrilliant.co.uk forward slash AMA because that's what I've decided it's going to be so then I know my website forward slash AMA is going to lead to this landing page. Hope that makes sense. So then on my pages, I can go to my home page again on my edits, edit with Elementor. And then for the second button here, if I go into the settings, I've got my website, which build it brilliant.co.uk forward slash AMA and I know that that is what the landing page is going to be. Now if you don't have a WordPress website and you can't get the plugin to create your you know to pull all that information through then all you would use is back on Aweber back to my landing page and here you have the URL so you would just copy and paste this URL here doo -doo -doo, uh, into your button here and that would take them to that landing page. So what if I was to do a freebie and I want them to sign up? Well, I would do exactly the same. I would, in, in my Aweber account, I would decide how I want them to sign up. Um, you don't have to do a landing page. So if you don't want the whole page, you can just have a sign up form which just gives you, I've also got a sign up form. <laughs> so uh, it just gives you this bit, join my AMA, and you can add this bit to your website, okay? So it depends on what you want your website to look like, and it depends on where you want to send people to. If you just want a freebie, then you don't really need a whole landing page explaining what your freebie is if it's just a quick thing. You just pe want people to sign up and get their freebie. Well, if you want to do that, you would create a sign up form and then you would add this to your website. So here um, I've created a little thing here. I would add a tag. So uh, joined AMA as my tag. Do I have one already for AMA? I have. Let's just use the one I have already. <laughs> So you would create this little form here by using this little um, little templates um, and you can use that, add an image, add some text, change the colours, change the language, do, you know, make it look how you want. And then add a tag so that when people fill in this form, they are tagged with a certain thing. This is just whether you, you where you want them to go. So you name your form and then you put a, a thank you page where they want them to go. Save the form. And then I use, I will install my form and I use the raw HTML version of the code. It is a lot longer, but it just, sometimes you get blips if you use the shorter JavaScript one. So by all means use this one and if it doesn't, pull through correctly for any reason or you get little blips then just go and choose this one which is your raw html version copy this so i'm using keyboard shortcuts again i'm just going to copy that and then on here if i wanted this form to be here for example all i would do is i would go onto my options and drag the HTML option, which I will find HTML code. So I could have it in here. And then in this little box, I'm going to paste the text that I've just got. And now you can see that I've got my form on my website. And what will happen is when people sign up here, then they will get added to that list on my Aweber. So they'll get added to this AMA list. So then I've done another video that's about how you actually attach your PDF or your ebook to your um, email. So you can go and have a look at that video if you want to know how to do that. 
But I hope that's helped in terms of adding your calls to actions to your website. You would do exactly the same if it was a blog, you'd use the same options. So again, decide on what it is you want to do and how it is that you want them to send them to it. Let me just delete this because, so this is my website. Um, so if you're using a blog, then you can do exactly the same. So blog in WordPress is posts. Um, I haven't got any in here to play with. Um, so you just add a new blog, add a new post. Again, I would use Elementor to build it because it gives me lots of options. I would type my title in here and then as you can see it's exactly the same as before. So if I wanted a call to action that's a button, I'd just drag and drop that and change the settings exactly as I did before. If I wanted to do it as a hyperlink, which is text, drag your text in and then um, I can put, um, if you would like more help, click here to book a discovery call or whatever it is that you want them to do and then I can hyperlink this so I can highlight it, click on this button here and then type that URL in there and that would then give you, oh that's a script, um, so say that's my, I can then do my Build a Brilliant website, the page, the um, or a landing page on Aweber with the URL that I showed you. So wherever it is that you want them to go, you'd put that in there. Um, let me just do Build It Brilliant, just to show you. And then apply. And then now when they click on here, it would then go to wherever the link is that you have given them. So that's how you would do it if you were gonna do a blog. Hope that's helped and uh, giving you the information you need to in order to put your CTAs onto your websites and your blogs. It's really important that you put them there so that people can take those next steps with you and, and book a call or get your freebie or your newsletter, whatever it is that you want. I will see you next week for the next AMA.